Good afternoon. Welcome to another fine episode of My Garage. I am your host, Eric. Um, in this series, we're going to go ahead and go through this 1970s wheel horse. It's between a 1974 and 1977. Um, they made the C120s. They made a bunch of other ones, too. Um, I guess. I don't know. This is my very first wheel horse. I don't know a whole lot about it. Um, I know that it runs. Um, transmission works, it goes through all the gears, there is no PTO, um, there is the parts for the mower deck underneath, they cut them off, parts of them with a cut torch when they removed it, um, I got it for free, <laughs> anybody that knows me, I'm the keeping it free man, if it's free it's for me, I apologize for that though, I am in a garage, there's like, there's, Nothing to absorb absorb the noise. Um, let's address the elephant in the room. Right here. This seat was on when I got it. As I said, it was free. Um, that that's going to be changed. I will get rid of that. Um, I had to do a little bit of rewiring on it. Um, some of the wires were kind of. Hanky and messed up. The there was a switch for the seat. I addressed that. Um, pretty much what I don't know where it's gonna go. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with it. Um, I know that it's not gonna stay in the condition that it's in. Um, it runs good. Twelve horse, cast iron, uh, polar motor. Um, I believe it's original to the to the mower. I do have the I do have the hood with it. I got the rear light working. The electrical's a mess. Um, I guess let's just get into it and see what we're doing. Um, I already lost this key once. I'll probably lose it ten more times. Always remember that <laughs> if you're gonna mess around with things. Electrical things that you don't know, like I know zippity zap about electrical on wiring. I had to pull up a schematic because when I redid some of the wires, I had some of the wires crossed. It was a mess. So my wife was awesome enough. She printed this out for me. Helps out a lot. Um, today I'm going to take start taking the dashboard part steering wheel off. Um, get the ignition off it. I am going to re-sticker it. I am going to get some new stickers for it. Um, put all of them back in the original spots. I know there's a lot of real horse fanatics that are absolutely obsessed with making sure things are in the line where they go. Um, I don't know why the guy had that on there. I'm probably not going to put that back on. Like I said, I don't know much about these mo these tractors. Um, I got this one for free. That's the best, that's the way I like them. I don't know how. Oh, maybe this is, oh, yeah, I'm a genius. Um, I don't really know where this YouTube channel is going to go. I don't know. heavy guy. I don't know how to edit videos. Um, so the mistakes you see me make or what I make. It's what, I, it's what happens. None of us are perfect. Learn as we go. And here we go. No, no, maybe not. Hmm. 
Well, I guess that's just gonna be something that stays on there until I can get my marbles together and figure out how that works. Let me get this off, this off of here though. video up yesterday. Uh, there was a car show not too far away and my daughter at 
absolutely loves cars. All the cars. Cars, truck stuff of the sort, and that I am thrilled about. Uh, right now, all I'm doing is I need to get it. I know what I need. I need to get me those color coded bins like you put your nuts and bolts in. And I need to get one of those so that way, um, as I'm taking this stuff off, I can put them, hey, these are dashboard bolt screws, these are motor screws, these are whatever screws and nuts and bolts I'm taking off. That way, I don't lose any because me knowing me, I'm going to lose something. That's just, I guess probably should take the battery out first. The view that you're seeing is probably the view that you're going to be mostly seeing a lot. Um, we'll do some up close stuff so you can see, get closer in and see uh, my progress on it. What I've Funny, kind of a funny story when I got the tractor from the fella he said that uh, battery's no good he, would, he didn't put a battery tent around it he didn't do anything to charge it um, I got it home I messed with it a little bit and the connectors were loose the bolts for the or loose, I don't know what. I don't know what he did. It, this terminal, it shorted out on something. It's all the, it's all melted and it's, I don't know. It still works though. Works good battery. Um, this is the voltage regulator. I need to get another one. So that way I can have my amperage, my battery charger, and it has a battery charger system on it, which is awesome. I can get them off uh, Amazon. I can get the regulators off Amazon. I'm probably going to have to see if I can't. I want to clean this gauge up. This gauge, I believe, is original to the tractor. I want to try to keep it. There's a lot of overspray on it. Um, I, I took that off previously when I started to do a little bit of, of the rewiring on it. Has a couple different safety switches. There's there's one for the PTO that I have. It's belt, it's, this is belt driven PTO on this. So if you have mower deck, snow blower, um, if you have your, uh, you can get a road tiller attachment. You can get a single disc attachment for it. I don't have any of that stuff. I didn't get it with any of that. Kind of bums me out. I wish that it had a. Mower deck on it. That way I could mow with it. There's a bolt down in there, and that's a bolt. I can't get nothing on the bolt, so we'll just stuff the screwdriver in there. This doesn't have points in it. Um, I don't know a lot about points. I've never really messed with anything like that. It's all going to be new to me. 
Uh, so just write down there in the comments. Um, if you have any any suggestions, comments, uh, good, bad, ugly, please like, subscribe, share with your friends. don't know where this channel is going to go. Um, you could be watching it if you work from home, you're bored. Hey, you know, Wheel Horse, the title is probably going to be Wheel Horse Restoration. Um, there's going to be a series of these videos. There we go. Keep all this stuff together. I am going to forget where they go because Luckily, I have videos. I can go back and take a look. And... Um, I contemplating. I contemplated um, sandblasting everything. I still might media blast the sandblasting glass bead. I don't know. Um, orange and just take orange wire. Um, I bought yellow, black, red, 12 and 14 gauge wire, which is what's on here. Um, I'm going to be redoing the battery cables, new spark plug, all that kind of find this entertaining, you might find it informative, you might find it however, but going through, I am as blind as they come, I need to get some more lights in here. Um, going through some stuff on the internet. Oh, come on. There we go. Um, I 
type in stuff for wheel horses and you'll get very little or short videos about how to do this particular thing, that particular thing. I don't know how long the video is going to be. We're 20 minutes into it. You're probably bored out of your mind. You're sitting in the bathroom watching me say, no, this guy's whatever. I don't know. Also down there in the comments, if you would, I would like to find, I went to, to the local um, tractor supply store up here, I just opened a new one. To get a, uh, that's probably not the view you want to see. What I'm trying to do here is getting this ignition key switch out of here. I went to the new home farm store that opened up here, close by, to see if I could find, well, come on, work with me fingers, another switch. This is a five tab, it's got five little prongs on the back of her. Every one that I seen that was this style, had six prongs on the back of it and they just take your your average everyday little key like that this is actually for my yard man that's out back that's the deck's all wonky on it and i'll figure that out eventually but it's a universal key it fits um i could probably go on amazon i don't like ebay i got fried on there before i stay away from ebay I'd like to find another key switch, a new one. If not, then I'll just reuse this one at work. Um, if it's a ships, use it. This is the other plug for the light. I don't, I don't know what that is. I'm just trying to get get this tray off right here. Um, that's probably all I'll do right now. I don't want to bore you too much. Um, I'll do little videos here and there of it. Some of you are probably thinking, why are you using hand tools and, and not anything else? I grew up using hand tools. Most of the jobs I've had have used hand tools. I'm, I do have an air compressor, that thing kicks on, boy. <coughs> the neighbors can't hear themselves talk. Um, I'll get a new one eventually. That's further down the road. Hope that you are enjoying your Sunday. Um, the video will be posted today. I'm going to try to post videos the day that I do them. Um, it's just easier for me that way. I am, like I've said before, I'm not a technical guy. This is only my second video. I'll figure, I'll figure it out eventually how to do all the editing and everything of the such, that way. Probably, oh, that's how it always works out. Nothing's ever as it appears. And it sucks that it stinks that I can't have music going. I'll probably get demonetized for it if I ever get any kind of money. Um,
any any and all money that I if and when I do start making money off of YouTube, any and all money that I get from that is gonna go for this stuff, for making videos, trying to get better content, better equipment. Right now I'm just doing it off my phone, off a uh, little stand that I welded together real quick. Um, I have a welder, I can weld. Am I a welder? No. Um, but one thing I do have, I do have a really good grinder. I can make my welds look pretty, cover them up, you won't even see them. cheapskate's garage because I am a cheapskate and I do not like to spend money. For the people that are following me so far that know me, which the only ones that are following me that I'm aware of are the ones that know me, know that I am a very, very cheap person. And poor. And broke. And a big goof. like to have fun. Um... I'm going to keep this channel as friend, family friendly as possible, that way if you're working, what did I do? This is a cracksman, maybe a broker. This is the tray in which the gas tank sits on. There's a spring that goes here, goes around it. There's a couple, there's a little coat hanger looking strap here. Um, steering shaft, all the wires. One side is for the, uh, what is that? That's for the throttle control and the choke bolts, the choke cable and stuff bolted onto here. On this side, you see that it is a C120 eight speed wheel horse. I can get out, I can order these stickers. Um, I'm gonna do that. So my plan with this now, 
is I might even video it later. Um, the I'm gonna clean it all up, obviously. I'm gonna get these stickers off here and here. This section here and this section here that you can see, I am going to sand it down, prime it. This is all this is all gonna get primed. Probably use an etching primer sealer on it. That way it doesn't rust anymore. Try to preserve as much of this as I can. Um, let me take you off of here. I'm doing this backwards because I don't know how to flip the camera around. Oh. Got a ba the battery box in there. All this stuff's going to get all done. If I can figure out how to get the steering wheel off. Um, the rest of the dashboard is going to come off. I'm going to clean all that up real good. Paint all that. Oh, my forehead is shiny because it is sweaty. Um, redo this rail. Motorcycle season. Very beautiful day here. Um, this was the handle for the deck and all that mechanism, that's all, they cut it. They literally cut it off with a torque. So, I don't know if I'm gonna put another deck on this, I might or might not. Um, I'm gonna get the sheet metal, I'm going to build a trailer so I can pull the kids around. Oh. Right there is the hood. That is in very good shape. They had the exhaust. I know my video skills or whatever. Uh, 